I'm going to share with you a really awesome way that hardly no one is talking about a way that you can create custom podcasts to learn anything that is on the internet, even if it happened 10 minutes ago. Uh, all right, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this. If you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So let's learn and leverage some generative AI, but make sure to go to your everydayai.com, sign up for that newsletter, subscribe to this channel as well. All right. So, uh, a couple of things, uh, this is a great way to learn about new events, things you don't understand, uh, things that are trending. So as an example, I just went to Google trends here. Let's see. Okay. We'll just pick the NBA, uh, because I actually know that the NBA has a new in season tournament that I don't, actually know a lot about. So uh, let me just go ahead and I'm going to Google this in-season tournament NBA. All right. So I'm going to copy a couple of these articles. So I'm going to copy uh, this one here. All right. Give me a second. And then I'm going to copy. We'll also scroll down. We'll do this one um, from Yahoo Sports. So we'll copy that link as well. And maybe let's talk about, uh, we'll do, here we go, this CNN one, sure. All right, so now we have three different links. So normally you would go to these links, you know, these articles might take, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to read something like that, but you're gonna get so many pop-up ads, it's gonna be annoying. Uh, so let's just do it really quickly inside ChatGPT. So I'm gonna say, please help me create a short um, podcast overview about, and I'm gonna say the new NBA in-season tournament that debuted in 2023. And then I'm going to say, please use the browser app plugin to analyze these articles. So those are the three articles. And then I'm saying, use the speech key plugin. Uh, and I'll explain what all this is doing uh, as it comes up. So then I'm saying, please use the speech key plugin to create the short podcast in the Tommy Cadwell US blah, blah, blah voice. All right. So what that is, is once you have a speech key account, uh, you'll be able to go through and see all the different uh, kind of voices that they have. So I just chose a random one, but there's a lot of different languages, just some different kind of uh, accents. So I just picked, um, you know, I just typed in English and then I did, you know, US, uh, but there's, there's actually so, so many voices in here. Uh, I wish Ash, uh, I wish uh, speech key uh, could allow you to search it, or it could give you um, kind of a way to, you know, something more than narration. I wish it said, you know, like uh, 11 lab says like, you know, near, uh, deep voice or curious or excited. Right. Uh, because otherwise you have to like preview all of these, which takes a very long time, but, um, you can at least, uh, sort by language. So I did English, um, and then I did us and then you can preview them as well. So I'll, I'll preview on this as an example. The term happiness is used in the context of mental or emotional states. And then whatever one you want, you can just click the copy and then that will give you that ID. All right. So let's jump back into chat GPT because I'm guessing it's probably almost done. Uh, all right. Let's see. I want to scroll to the bottom here, make sure. Okay. So you'll see already it used the browser app plugin and you see it used it three times, which is good because those are the three different articles that we uh, included. So it's going to make sure to get all of that different information. Now it's breaking it all down for us right here. Uh, so this is great. Um, and right now it's being, it's, uh, creating it all in speech key right here. So it's, uh, I can see live, it's putting in kind of this script or this narration into speech key. And then here in probably uh, one or two minutes, it's it's pretty quick. Um, we should have something within speech key and we'll be able to click it uh, once it's done. So let me, um, let me show you as an example, why we might wanna do this as it's giving, uh, all right, it says it's ready, so maybe we don't even don't even have to jump into it. It might still take a second uh, to generate. I've noticed sometimes you click it and it's not quite ready, uh, especially if it's a longer uh, recording. So let's go ahead and click this and share this tab. All right, so it says it is still low. Uh, it says it's recording the voiceover. 
I'm going to hit refresh. Let's see if we can, uh, if it's done yet. It's not. That's okay. Let's go ahead just as an example, talk about even why we might want to do this, right? Uh, Yahoo Sports, as an example, is a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy website to read. But you'll see already, look at how many ads I have on the page here. Uh, I have at least this one ad, and then I have another ad that's auto playing right here. So I keep scrolling down. Now that ad is right in front of me. Uh, there's another ad that was apparently removed already. It's just the, I mean, look what's on my screen right now. This is why I use ChatGPT all the time. The internet is so distracting. And a lot of times you might have to read three, four, five, ten 10 articles to fully understand something, uh, which is why I'd love uh, to use this kind of technique inside of ChatGPT. Uh, so uh, because otherwise you're just going to be getting a lot of pop-up ads and wasting a lot of time. Um, and it's really not the best experience to even read this, right? Um, sometimes, you know, I'm doing this on my phone and I can't even find the actual content. Uh, the internet, this is a side kind of rant for me, but the internet is getting harder and harder uh, to use uh, recently because uh, all of these major publishers are getting less and less traffic because, because of large language models like Bing chat, like chat GPT, like Google's new search generative experience. So they're actually to compensate. They're having to put more and more ads, which is making the internet just kind of terrible to use. All right. So let's, let's jump in. Let's see if we have our uh, voice over just yet. All right. So it is still recording. I don't want to make you wait. I'm going to hit pause on this video real quick. I'm guessing it's only going to be another second or two, but I'll let you know. And we're back. It only took about another 90 seconds after I hit pause. So let's go ahead and take a look at this file. So it is at about two minutes and 20 seconds. Let's go ahead. Hopefully you can hear uh, this, this audio file. All right, let's dive into the exciting world of the NBA's new in-season tournament that kicked off in 2023. Think of it like a mini championship within the regular season, adding an extra layer of excitement to the game. What's the NBA in-season tournament? First, debut year 2023. Second, format. It's a mix of group stages and knockout rounds. Third. All right. So you don't need to hear the whole thing, but you can see already this is pretty good. Um, and let's jump back real quick into the ChatGPT chat so you can see the, some of the directions that I gave it. You know, I said, keep it succinct and factual, respond like you're explaining it to a high school freshman, because then no matter what I'm learning, even if it's something I've literally never heard of, uh, ChatGPT knows to explain the basics. And I'm saying use simple conversational language as it'll be used uh, to turn into an audio file. Use examples such as similes, metaphors, or fictional examples to, and you heard it right there. You know, it said, hey, think of it like this. Um, and then I said, always use specific information and details from the articles. And then last but not least, big, big, big hack here. I said, if you are unsure of anything, please first use the browser app plugin to query the web to find the information out before relying on your own data set and internal knowledge. That's the thing, because in this example, this tournament is very new and ChatGPT's uh, data set or the cutoff date is April, 2023. So a lot of this information before April, 2023 was maybe just rumored or it wasn't finalized yet. So I don't always want to leave everything to ChatGPT. Instead, I always want to be able to query the internet first versus just relying on ChatGPT's own knowledge set, especially when we're trying to learn something, especially if it's recent. Uh, all right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, subscribe to this channel as well. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know what I should do next. Uh, hope to see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.